Hello my family members, in many colleges Hexaware has taken their on campus exam today. I hope your exam is also within few days. So keeping this in my mind, I brought both coding questions that was asked today. That means on 5th September first lot. That probably you were looking for, right? So let's start. So the first question is regarding frequent odd. You are given an array ARR of size n. Your task is to find the smallest most frequent odd number in the given array. For example, in the array this, the smallest most frequent odd element is 1, right? So input format is given the first line contain an integer n denoting the size of the array. The second line contains space separated integers representing array ARR, right? And the output will be just print the smallest most frequent odd element and if not exist then print minus one so sample input is given here so seven is the size of the array and these are the element of the array right so output is one how because one and three both occurs in this case three that means uh, frequently they are present in the array but in this case one is smaller that's why one will be printed right okay now Let's start with the solution, right? So at first, let me write the code. Then I will explain whatever I have been doing here, right? Okay. Now let's uh, from collections from collections import the counter. Then read the input. That means size of the array in input, and just take the array element list map int input split right okay now count the occurrences of each element in the array right so count will be is equal to counter error right okay now initialize variables track the smallest most frequent odd number so smallest odd is equal to the float at first we are initializing as positive infinite right okay now smallest odd count will be at first will be initializing this as zero right then iterate through the counts to find the smallest most frequent odd number that means for num comma frequency uh, frequency in in count dot items now we'll check if num is odd num odd num mod 2 not equal to 0 and frequency is greater than the smallest odd count if this happens then update the smallest sorry smallest odd is equal to num and smallest odd count is equal to sorry is equal to frequency right and elif num mod 2 not equal to 0 and frequency is equal to is equal to the smallest is equal to is equal to the smallest odd count so for that case we'll just do update the smallest odd is equal to minimum of smallest odd or the num right okay i hope you have got the logic now let's check if the smallest most frequent odd number was found or not so out of the for loop just check if smallest odd count is greater than zero if this then print sorry print smallest odd right if not then do what sorry if not then print minus one right as it was told to us right Okay, let's run the code. I hope this code will give appropriate output. So for input 7, the 
array elements were 1 space 1 space 2 space 3 space 3 space 3 right so output should be 1 and it is right so let's run a separate input that is for 7 let's say 5 sorry 4 space 4 space 5 space 5 and let's say 7 space 5 and space 4 right so what is the odd and smallest frequent number in this case frequents are 4 4 and 5 5 right but the smallest odd is 5 right so the output will be 5 in this case let's see okay now this is actually appropriate so i hope you have got the logic right okay let's go to the next question and before we start next question i would request you to please subscribe this channel to get such latest content and watch the playlist regarding hexaware previous year question and hexaware on campus coding question right okay let's go to the next question so the question is regarding milkshake party right so Sengiz goes to the dairy milk to buy milkshake for a party there are n milkshakes numbered from 1 to n where the price of the ith milkshake is price i in the ith milkshake is 14 i Sengiz has k discount coupons and he can use each coupon at the most one time at most one time by using a discount coupon he can add value of any milkshake but no more than one coupon can be applied to the same milkshake right so Sengiz, Sengiz wants to buy milkshake such that the sum of uh, the milkshake and the total protein value is the maximum possible right and your task is to help Sengiz to find the maximum protein value right so input format is given here the input consists of five lines the first line contains an integer n the second line contains an integer m third line uh, integer k and the fourth line contains space separated n space separated integers denoting the elements of price array the fifth line contains n space separated integers denoting the elements of the protein array right okay now the output format is the print a number that represents the maximum possible protein value right Sengiz can buy right okay the constraints are given here and okay actually this should be 10 to the power 3 right and the sample inputs are there so the first three are the uh, integer value n m k and this is the array elements protein and the milkshakes right so the output is 37 and explanation is given here so please read the question and solve the question so that it can be more beneficial for you right if you face any problem then let me know i will give you some uh, tips so that you can solve the problem easily right i hope this session was very helpful and very informative so if you think the same then please subscribe this channel and watch the hexaware previous year coding question and hexaware on campus coding questions right so thank you for today's session